Hi, welcome to the uh, Geary Mod Controller demo. Uh, this is the Geary Mod Controller, which consists of an Arduino board, a relay, display, and real-time clock module with battery backup, um, which controls the MaxSpec Geary Controller, uh, which controls the MaxSpec Geary Pump. Now, the whole reason for this project was that the um, MaxSpec Controller is actually a pretty great good controller. It has three main modes, the continuous, uh, the pulse, and the alternating Geary. You know, they're programmable in the sense that you can set the power, the direction, and in some one case the frequency, and uh, that's all done through the program button. However, once you program it, it's all set, all the modes are set, but you only have access to one mode at a time. I mean, you set the mode, that's it, that's all it runs all day long, unless you come along and press that button. So, either you're coming back here to press the button every hour, or every once in a while, or, or setting the button to press at night, um, you basically are left with one mode. Um, what the Geary Mod controller actually does is actually pushes that button for you. It's basically that relay module is, is wired into that button and uh, it pushes the button for you by shorting out the button. Um, and um, But what it does is it actually takes care of things with the schedule. So um, uh, you can program so much time at a certain mode, so much time at a certain mode, and at different times of the day. So the, the point of that is that I'm also being able to um, reprogram the controller a little bit more aggressively because if I set the mode to be really powerful, I can't run it at night, so then I would turn off the controller at night. Now, if I turn off the controller at night, I'm losing total circulation. My other pumps have to take over. So um, the way I do it is basically I program uh, one aggressive mode, one medium mode, and one light mode. Uh, using the pulse, the, the alternating, and the continuous mode. And that way I set up different uh, schedules for different times of the day using those three main modes. Uh, at night time I don't use the aggressive mode, and um, during the daytime I use all three, and we really go 100% and continuous forward. So, how does it work? Um, basically, the two have to be synchronized because the controller cannot know where the controller is in the sense of is it in feed mode, is it in forward mode, whatever. So you get the two synchronized by going into uh, a feed mode, which uh, by pushing the mode button, and then you do a reset on the box. So I'm going to do a reset right now, and the beginning of the reset sequence is to tell you to hit, go into feed mode, and then the mod controller knows what the max spec controller is. And shortly into the reset boot, it will quickly first thing do is to go into continuous mode and that verifies to me that it's moved and everything's hooked up and it is in continuous mode. So the pump is um, circulating at 100% in forward thrust and that's what you're seeing right now. Now it's going to switch over in exactly one minute and you'll actually see it push the button and it's going to go into uh, my favorite mode which is the pulse mode. Now another advantage of the um, this kind of setup versus a commercial controller uh, to replace the max spec Geary controller is I'm not sure if you can hook up through an apex this kind of pulse uh, duration or a frequency. If you can see the pulse mode here, I wait till it goes into pulse mode, um, it is actually quite um, a high frequency. I don't think the apex can do that but that's just my lack of experience. However, like I said, one of my most favorite modes is the pulse mode, and it's about to turn on in a second to prove that the controller does work for the controller. So now it's gone into pulse mode, and you'll actually, it's starting up right now, and this is amazing that one single pump can do this, but um, that tank is starting to rock. And that's at 100% pulse mode, and uh, to give you an idea of what it takes to make that happen, is you actually have to set it 100% and then the frequency of pulses is that. So once again, I program it, save it, and just pick it as I choose with the controller. Um, so that kind of uh, summarizes what the controller does. Uh, the real-time clock module is actually important because it keeps the clock running even though I power it off. That battery will last for years. And eventually this relay module will be replaced by three relay modules which allow me to hook this up to 
those three dosing pumps to continue this project and use the same controller for dosing. And uh, another thing I'll be adding is the uh, feed mode button, which is the uh, Halloween decoration uh, button you get in the store. I kept it, didn't throw it, uh, it out because uh, it's a nice little button up there that allow me to push the button to get this into feed mode along with my Apex. Now, one other thing about how it works is the feed mode is a 10 minute limit. So if you go into feed mode, and you don't do anything, it exits feed mode and goes back into continuous mode or whatever. Uh, I'm not sure if it goes into whatever mode you're in, but you do, it does exit. So the way I get around that is, in, um, I go into feed mode, but I, I exit feed mode every minute and go back into feed mode. So that way if I want 30 minute feed mode, I go into feed mode once, uh, 30 times for one minute and that's done through the programming and that's how I can choose however many minutes I want for feed mode. And um, right now the lowest granulation uh, for uh, picking a mode is one minute. And uh, I'm actually thinking of considering things maybe like 10 seconds to kind of throw in 100% of um, continuous forward um, into the evening. So a short burst once in a while. So that pretty well sums her up. Uh, up and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Take care. Bye.